Now we will solve the problem number 45, the hexagonal object resting on HP with one of its carbon that is inclined to HP in the second position by an angle of 45 degree and inclined to VP by an angle of 30 degree in the third position. So the problem number 5 located in the page number 74 in your CAD solution book. Okay, let's we'll go through the construction of this problem in the computer. Just you have to draw in the beginning, you have to draw an XY line mention x y v p h p there then to construct hexagon just you have to select line command continuous line and 0.5 millimeter thickness left click anywhere on the drawing sheet the length is 25 angle is 0 degree i'm sorry for that angle is 0 then length is 25 angle is 60 length is 25 angle is 120 degree Again length is 25, angle is 180 degree, length is 25, angle is minus 120 degree, length is 25, angle is minus 60 degree. So according to the problem statement, we need to place the object with the corner position. So select the entire object, then you have to place the object just below this XY line. To complete the projection in the first position, select line command, continuous line and 0.13 mm thickness from the each end point, just you have to draw a thin projection line there, like that. And complete the projection for the line wave in the first position by thick line, then don't forget. Pass. Okay, after constructing this initial position, you have to mention all the notation A, B, C, D, E, and e, F, and in the front we A dash, B dash, C dash, and D dash, like that. Then for the second position, just you have to select these, a line view, hold the control, and select all these projection lines. Then select move command, switch on move and copy, select the leftmost endpoint of this line, and keep it on X, Y line. Then you can select rotate command, select the leftmost endpoint and the rightmost endpoint. Then you have to specify an angle of 45 degree that's inclined to HP there. Then select line command, 0.13 mm thickness from the lowermost endpoint of this a thick line. Just draw a vertical projection line. Again, from this endpoint of the thin line, you have to draw a line of 90 degree vertical thin line. Similarly, from this end point here, you have to draw another vertical thin line. Now, from this end point here, just draw a vertical thin line. So, after that, you have to delete all these extra line by holding the control. First, you have to select this extra line. Later, you can press delete. Then, select line command from the point E, just draw a horizontal thin line. From the point A, horizontal thin line. Then, from the point C, draw another horizontal thin line there so for the rotation first okay after mentioning the rotation here in the both front and top we we need to join all the end point there with a thick continuous line with the thickness of 0.5 millimeter from this point a to b draw a thick line then b to c c to d then d to e e to f then F to A. That's the projection for this uh, second position top V. Then select trim command and do trim this extra line in between this true and apparent diagonal. The next step you have to measure this uh, true and apparent diagonal length that's 50 and 35.36 uh, millimeter. For the next step select line command continuous line 0.13 millimeter thickness from the XY line dry line of a 30 degree with respect to VP. Dry line now with respect to VP by an angle of 30 degree. Then select arc by center point command, continuous line 0.13 millimeter. Anywhere on this a 30 degree line, left click and mention the radius of 50 millimeter. Then cut one half. Then select line command, locus line from this point of intersection, just draw a thin locus line. Again, you can select arc by center point command from the same center. By taking this apparent radius, apparent diagonal radius that is 35.36 millimeter by selecting continuous line, you can cut an arc there. 
select line command from this point of intersection up to the center just draw a thin line then you can select extend to next command and extend this line up to the xy line now don't forget to find out the angle there the given angle is 30 degree and this beta angle should be greater than that 30 degree that's 45 degree now using text command we can take this endpoint as a here and this one is d and we can take this endpoint as d1 now we have to select this entire second position top v select move command switch on move and copy select the leftmost endpoint and keep it on the endpoint a there exactly left click then you can select rotate command now to place the object exactly in the third position top view select this point A as a fixed point and point D for rotation then you can rotate this point D1 should be coincident with this end point here you can zoom that particular portion then rotate move the cursor on the arc and locus line we are getting intersection symbol there now to construct the projection for this a third position front view select line command continuous line 0.13 mm thickness the point D dash draw a horizontal thin line now from the point D1 just draw a vertical line again from the point C dash of E dash draw a horizontal line now from the point C draw one vertical thin projection line now the point E lies here again from this end point you need to draw one more a thin projection line now from the point B dash of F dash draw one more horizontal line from the point B Draw a line here, then from the point E of is here. Now using trim command, don't forget to trim all this extra line. Then the point A lies on a XY line from this end point, draw a line up to the XY line. Now using text command, you can specify the end point there, the end point A dash, and point B dash is here, then C dash, D dash. E dash and F dash. Now select line command 0.5 mm thickness from the point A dash to B dash, B dash to C dash, C dash to D dash, then D dash to E dash, E dash to F dash, then F dash to A dash. So that is the projection for this problem in all the three positions. So don't forget to mention all the notation and thin line, thick line, everything before giving the printout in your examination. So that's it. Thank you.